Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and we're designandtechtips.com. Well, we had a question, here's a little e-commerce site we built a while back actually, and somebody was asking how to make sort of cards. You could have an image, a title, and a bit of information, then click on it and go to a product, just like that. Really easy to do, we're using little blurb modules for this today. We've got to do a slight bit of coding to modify these, but it's really easy, so don't let that put you off. At the end of the video, I'll show you actually, you can download this layout, I'll zip it up, and you can download it, unzip it as a JSON file. Okay, well let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's roll down to where we want to work. And I've got a section here inside. I've got a row with two columns in it. I'm simply going to delete this row and we'll start from scratch. Okay. Well, I'm going to add a new row, the little green button right there. I'm going to put two columns in mine. Obviously put however many or as few as you want in yours. I'm going to use a blurb module to do this today. Now let's put the title of the product you want in there. I can't remember exactly what I've got on this site. I know there was a black dress. Put in your little description or whatever it is you want to have in there. Probably not a whole lot. I'm going to delete most of that. Obviously choose your image for whatever product it is. And if you've already got it as a product, you've probably got an image of it. But of course you can put any image in there you want. I think that's a black dress. Let's use that one. Okay, I'm going to come back to the background in a minute. We don't need to put a link in here. You could link this whole module if you wanted to, to the product itself. And I'll show you how to get your product link in a minute for anybody that doesn't know. But if you do want to link the whole little card when we've got it, and not just the button that we're going to create, you can put a link in there. Always best practice, because we're linking to our own site, open it in the same window. Okay, well, let's move on to our design here. because I want this image to be on the left. I want to have my title and description on the right and perhaps a background in there. And then we'll create a little button to take us to our product page. So on the design tab, let's go down to image and icon. Image and icon placement. Well, I want my image on the left of the text. So I'm going to switch that to left. But unfortunately, it's not making me not letting me make that image as big as I'd like, even if we type in a crazy value here, it's still saying that same size. So I'm going to use a little bit of custom code to do this today. And I want my image to be about 40% of the size of my card that I'm going to create here. So I'm going to go over to my advanced tab, down to my custom CSS, and I'll put this code down below the video for anybody who wants to copy and paste it. I'm going to go down to the blurb image and in there I'm going to type with 40% and there it is it's 40% of the width that our card container is taking up there great well that's that little bit done let's put a little semicolon after that in case we want to add some more code all right well let's actually give this a background now and then we can start positioning our text here so I'm going to go back to the content tab. And I'm going to give it a background. And I'm going to blend a couple of things. Let's put a blue color in there and chuck an image in there as well. Let's find an image. That might work. I think that's what I used last time. A little bit bright because I'm going to have sort of light colored text on this. Let's merge with that blue that we put in there. If we roll down below the image, make sure you're on the image. We've got background image blend. I'm going to hit mine to multiply. And that'll darken it down for my text when I make it white in a minute. That'll work for me. There's all kinds of options here. There's some really good ones. Go through, take a look. Things like luminosity and saturation. The difference can give you some crazy effects. But I'm going to use multiply for mine today. Great, well let's change that text to a light color so we can see it. In the design tab, we'll go down to text. I'm simply gonna change mine from dark to light. 
think I'm going to have mine center aligned. You can individually affect your text down here, title text and body text. And as with everything Divi, there's a huge amount of fonts to choose from should you want to choose a little font. Just roll over one. It'll give you a nice example there. I'm going to leave mine on the custom just like that. Great. Well, we've got that. Now, I want to add a little button. Now, it's up to you. You don't have to do that because if we've got a module link here, we can just click on the whole module. It will take us to this product. But I want to add a little button type thing. So in my content, I'm going to code myself a little button here. Don't let that put you off. Again, I'll put any code down below the video here. So here's our content something about our black dress there and down below I'm going to say check it out or whatever you want your button to say okay I'm going to select this and we're going to make it a link now so I'm going to select that go up to the little chain icon up here click on it we want to find the URL for this product so if you go down to your dashboard go down to your products that's it right there that's kind of handy if you roll over your products you'll see some little info pop up here some little metadata go to the thing you want black dress and there's view i'm going to go over there i'm simply going to right click and copy link address i'm going to go in here and that's the link i'm going to put in there and i'm just going to save that okay and like i say if you want the whole module to link somewhere you put that same link in down below under the content under link module link then anywhere they click around here not just on the actual button or link will take them there great well let's style this little thing a bit more the way i want it i want it to be a little pink button and obviously you can make yours however you want to so we're going to go back into the text module here and this is just a regular text type module by default it's going to be on the visual tab let's switch over to the text tab and it shows us some text and here's our little link right here a tag href so just after the a i can actually write some style so after the a i'm going to put a gap in there i'm going to write style s-t-y-l-e equals open and close two inverted commas right there inside we can write our style so the first thing i want to do is give that text a background color i'm going to say background pink well, you can put in whatever color you desire for yours, obviously. Semicolon afterwards. As you can see, it's giving it a pink color. Now let's make it kind of button shape. I'm going to do that with a bit of padding. And I'm going to say padding. First set will be top and bottom. So I'm going to say 15 pixels, top and bottom, and a little gap. And let's say 25 pixels left and right. And a semicolon. Great. And let's give it some rounded corners so again a little gap and say border radius and I'm going to give mine 30 picks I would give it nice rounded corners there there we go I want to pop it down just a little bit more than it is at the moment so you can do that with line height if you want to say line height line dash height let's say 25 pixels Let's up that to 35 and see what the difference is. Yeah, let's stick with the 35, I think. Great. And finally, I want to make that text, check it out, white in color. So semicolon. I'm just going to say color white, which is hashtag FFF, or you can just type in white if you want to. Great. Well, now I want to push this down a little bit more to the middle. And I can't do that, unfortunately, with spacing, because if I put spacing on the top of here, it also puts spacing on the top of that image there. For instance, if I put a bit of padding on the top here, you see it puts it on our image, and I really don't want that. So I'm going to do this with a little bit of code too. And it's really easy to do. All I'm going to do is target our title right here. So again, I'm going to go to the advanced, to the custom CSS panel down to our title, blurb title, and I'm going to say padding top, perhaps 30 pixels or something like that, padding, dash top, now let's say 30 pixels. That's about right for me, obviously you adjust yours however you want to, and 
I really want a bit of space on the right hand side here. I don't like the way it's touching there. And we can actually do that in the design tab here. So let's go to the design. We'll go down to spacing and let's go down to the right and let's say put 20 pixels in there. Just put in the 20, it'll put in the pixels for you. Now we've got 20 pixel space right there. Great, well this is shaping up, fantastic. Only other thing I think I want to do is put a little white board around it and give it a bit of box shadow to make it stand out. But that's the basic design right there. So still in the design, let's put a bit of a border on there. I'm going to go into border, have all four selected. I'm going to do it perhaps two pixels. I'm going to make mine white in color. And then just to finish off, I'm going to give it a bit of box shadow on the bottom. Great. And we're done with our little card. And there's obviously just one to recreate and add different products. Let's just do a few here. I'm going to hit the clone button, two little squares, just next to the little cog. And we've got a new one there. Easy, easy to update. All we do in there, let's say, I'll just say shoes. Select your new product link. Just simply go in there and select like, that like any other text module hit the link put your new product link in there whatever it is we'll get the link for this one replace the one that's in there I didn't mention before the target they got none at the bottom there that means it's going to open in the same window which is what we want if you're linking to somebody else's site, you can open it in a new window there so your site stays open. Okay, that's all we need to do there. And of course, we want to flip the image to whatever that product was. I think it was those shoes. And simply rinse and repeat. Let's grab one of these, pop it up here. There we go, I've added another couple quickly there. Let's save this. Make sure that it's gonna work. What I'll do before I save it, I'll save this whole section as a JSON file. I'll zip it up and I'll show you how to upload it if you wanna just, if you just wanna import this layout and style it for your own. Obviously my links are not gonna work for you. Okay, so I'm gonna save this section to the library. Now I'll call it P cards for product cards. Okay, now that's saved. Let's save the page changes and exit the visual builder. And we'll go on down to where we were working. There's our little product card. And if I click on this one, it should take us to the black dress. There we go. And as I mentioned before, obviously if you download this layout, my links are not gonna work for you. You're not gonna have that product in your inventory. So there you go, guys, there's how to do that. And that's a nice little thing to have on your little site there. So let's export this and show you how to import it. We just saved that layout to the library. I'm going to go down to my dashboard, down to Divi, to the Divi library. There it is at the top there. I'm going to put a check mark next to it. I'm going to hit import and export. I'm going to export this and I'm going to call it P cards. I only want to export the one that I've selected there with the check mark. It's going to build it. And it's all good. As you can see, it's downloaded it to my browser here. I'm using Google Chrome. I can shut that up now. Okay, what I'll do is I'll zip this up. I'll upload it and drop a link below the video. You can download it, unzip it so it's a JSON file like this. Then go to your Divi library, hit import and export import and you can just drag it up or you can hit the choose file and browse to your download location and hit it import Divi Builder layouts I'm not going to because obviously it's in my library but for anybody that wants to download the layout and upload it to their Divi site that's how you do it okay good to go so there you go guys there's how to add some little WooCommerce product cards to your Divi website don't forget, if you've got any questions today, put them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them or make a demo video for you. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.